Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel TechLob. In this demonstration, I'm going to install Windows Server Update Services, which is WSUS in Windows Server 2022. And what is Windows Server Update Services? The Windows Server Update Services is a server role in a Windows Server that enable IT administrator to deploy the latest Microsoft product updates to computers on their network. The WSUS provide features that you can use to manage and distribute updates through a management console. You can also use it to fully manage distribution of updates that are released through Microsoft Update. To do that, for this demonstration, we have a three computer, which is two Windows Server and one Windows 10. This is domain controller machine. The PC name is master and the IP address is 192.168.60.130 is the IP for this computer. Okay. And we have WSUS server. Uh, the PC name is WSUS and the IP address is 192.168.60.131 and we have one more computer Windows 10 this is the client machine for the testing purpose the IP address is uh, 192.168.60.132 is the IP for the client computer all right now what I'm going to do, I'm going back to the WSUS server. We need to configure. So before that, I will show you the domain controller machine. Now I'm going to open the server manager and click on the dashboard and click on tools, select active directory users and computers. In the active directory users and computers, I have a few uh, container this is HR user groups and these are the users and I will show you the computers total joint computer 2 one is WSUS server and the other one is the client computer for the testing purpose I'm going to shift the client computer to another container okay so I'm gonna create the new OU right click on the domain name create a new select organizational unit okay give the name office computers click ok and we have created one office container and right click again on the office computer and select the organizational unit again and type PCs okay then click OK. Now I'm going back to the computers and right click the client machine and move to the PCs container, office computer. I'm going to expand and click on the PCs and click OK. Now what I'm going to do, install the uh, WSUS server. So I'm going to open server manager and add roles and features and click next and next again and next again and scroll down you will see the windows server update services i'm going to click and add features and next again and next again continue again next on the role services you will see wid connectivity and wsus services I'm going to click next and here we need to give the path all the download files goes to the uh, the particular folder so in this case I'm going to open the file explorer open the C drive and right click create a new folder and the name is WSUS underscore updates okay so we have created folder in the C drive 
okay I'm gonna open that folder and copy this path right click and copy and and paste this location okay click next and next again and continue next and select restart the destination server automatically if required and continue s and finally install now the installation progress started this will take several minutes please wait until the installation complete and between the installation what I'm going to do I'm going back to the uh, domain controller open the server manager again and uh, click on the tools and select the group policy management on the group policy management I'm gonna create a new GPO techlob.local I'm gonna right click and create a new GPO the GPO name is type WSUS updates client click OK then right click on the WSUS GPO right click and edit and under the computer configuration expand the policies and select administrative templates expand and expand the windows components and scroll down you will see the windows update expand again and select configure automatic updates double click and enable below you can see few options select the auto download and notify for install click on that and apply and the second option you have to select the specify intranet microsoft update services location click that enable on the below i'm going to type here http colon forward slash forward slash and here you have to enter the fqdn the wsus server name okay the wsus.techglob.local and go back to the domain controller and here you have to type wsus.techglob.local and the port number is colon 8530 and copy the full link and paste the second set the intranet statics server okay and apply then click ok okay we have configured the settings then after that i'm gonna select office computer then right click select link and existing gpo click on that and select wsus gpo and click ok now you can see gpo is selected under office computer pcs okay then what we're gonna do update the group policy open the run command and type cmt and type gp update forward slash force and hit enter the user policy update has completed successfully and now i'm going back to the wsus server and here you can see the installation has been completed on the server manager i'm gonna click the tools and select the windows server update services and here you need to complete the installations store updates locally so we have a created one folder inside the c drive the wsus underscore updates folder i'm gonna click run and complete the installation process post installation successfully completed the module is open we need to do some configurations click next uncheck microsoft improvement program and next again and synchronize from microsoft update next and click next again start connecting upstream server and please wait until completion and then click next and here select the language english and next again select the product which one uh, you want to get the updates the windows 10 or windows server or any specified applications let me select uncheck this windows and scroll down 
for this time I'm selecting the Windows 10 and uh, click next and uh, select the classifications the critical updates the drivers and security updates and the updates only this settings I'm going to select click on next and synchronize manually select begin initial synchronization click on that and next and final click on the finish button you can see the module update services okay so we have successfully installed and configured expand the WSUS and select all updates the synchronization now still the synchronizing running uh, it will take some time okay so the first synchronization is succeed this is the report and uh, these are the options the step by step we can see all right and WSUS you will see still the synchronizing going on when you click all updates you will see the list of updates here so you can simply right click and approve okay you will get this window and click on this and approve for install and click ok this will uh, automatically uh, your system update it okay so these are the way how to configure the microsoft the windows server update services which is WSUS will upload the next sections okay thank you for watching this video please comments below and like and share subscribe my youtube channel see you in the next video